Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily, where today we're breaking down 10 players across Europe having underrated seasons. Let's go. 10. Mateo Kovacic This might seem like a slightly strange suggestion given Mateo Kovacic has only been fit enough to play 54% of the available minutes in the Premier League so far this season, but when the 27-year-old has been on the pitch, he's been excellent. He's provided two goals and five assists in just over 1,000 minutes. Just one fewer than his previous best of eight goal contributions in his final year at Inter Milan in 2012-13. In fact, his average of a goal contribution every 148 minutes this term is 32 minutes fewer than Liverpool's Sadio Mane. It's not just his attacking output either. The former Real Madrid man's tackles are now at 3.3 per 90, fourth for all Premier League midfielders. He's also creating 1.3 chances every game, the same as Saeed Ben Rama, whilst no one in the Chelsea squad can top his progressive passes and his 7.2 successful pressures per 90. If it wasn't for the abductor issue followed by COVID that kept him out for eight league games from the end of October to mid-December, he'd have a great claim for a spot in PFA Team of the Year. 9. Rafa Whilst Rafa near has popped up with some crucial goals during Sevilla's unlikely title challenge, our suggestion here is in fact Benfica winger Rafa Silva, who has quietly gone about his business for several years. Capped 25 times by Portugal, including two substitute appearances at Euro 2020, Rafa's relatively unremarkable record in Europe of seven goals and assists in 31 Champions League and Europa League games have ensured he's remained one of the Primera Liga's hidden gems. Having contributed 19 league goals in 2018-19, as Benfica won their only league title in the last four years under Bruno Lage, Rafa's numbers dropped slightly in the following two seasons, but he swept all before him this term. Seven goals and a ridiculous 13 assists, the latter only topped by Thomas Muller in Europe's top five leagues, provided in just over 1,200 minutes, meaning he's averaging a league goal contribution every 60 minutes eight fewer than Robert Lewandowski. Currently averaging 4.8 shot creating actions and 3.7 dribbles per 90, it's clear that Rafa has outgrown Portugal. Only linked with a move to Newcastle in the last 12 months and with just two years remaining on his current deal, he'll likely play out his days in Lisbon. 8. Domenico Berardi with Inter's perfectly balanced team and Milan's emerging talents receiving the majority of the plaudits over in Italy, Sassuolo captain Domenico Berardi continues to fall through the cracks. Playing his 10th season with the Nero Verdi, the right winger has shown the sort of consistency that most forwards can only dream of, with 66 goal contributions in his last 115 league games. This season, he's already managed 10 goals and 8 assists in just 19 Serie A appearances with his average of a goal contribution every 92 minutes better than wingers like Sane, Neymar and Vinicius Jr. Currently averaging 3.5 shots per 90, a tally betted only by Salah and Ronaldo in the Premier League, as well as 2.4 key passes per 90, it's no surprise to see his expected goals and assists stand at 0.65. With goals against Atalanta, Inter, Milan and Lazio already this season, Berardi surely needs to play Champions League football before he retires. 7. Stole Dmitrievski Whilst keepers like David De Gea, Jose Sarr and Mike Magnon have all been widely praised for their excellent seasons so far, one shot stopper you might not be aware of is Rayo Vallecano's Stol Dimitrevski. The 28-year-old who appeared in all three of North Macedonia's Euro 2020 games is playing his 11th year in Spain, representing clubs in the top three tiers. Following relegation with Rayo Vallecano in 2018-19, he spent two years in the Segunda, helping them back to La Liga via the playoffs in May 2021. Given the fact they'd finished sixth in the table, 15 points behind champions Espanyol, no one gave them that much of a hope this season. And yet, remarkably at the time of writing, they sit seventh, just three points behind third place Real Betis. Dimitrevski has been an enormous part of that, having prevented over six goals more than XG predicted, a figure topped only by De Gea and Saar in Europe's top leagues. Dimitrevski has the chance to lead Los Vallecanos into uncharted territory. 6. Roman Fevre Do you want to know who is the French equivalent of Jack Grealish at Aston Villa? Well, it's Brest Roman Fevre. The 23-year-old attacking midfielder, who can also play on the right wing, signed for Le Pirat for just €650,000 from Monaco in June 2020. A promising debut campaign in league earn of 11 goals and assists in 36 games has been backed up with a spectacular start to this one. At the time of writing, Michel de Zakarian's men find themselves in 13th, 
eight points clear of the relegation playoff, in large part down to Fevre, who has been directly involved in 12 goals in 20 games, or 46% of their total. An excellent set-piece taker, Fevre also excels with the ball at his feet, completing 94 take-ons to date, a figure topped by just four players in Europe. With Brest seeing less than 42% of the ball and completing less than 79% of their passes on average, it's vitally important they find a way of easing pressure on their own goal. In that regard, Fevre is a cheat code, with João Cancelo the only player to top his 68 carries into the final third. Currently valued at just over 16 million euros, we'd be amazed if he didn't secure a move in 2022. 5. William Saliba Ben White may have formed a promising partnership with Gabriel, conceding just 16 goals in the last 17 games together, one fewer than Liverpool in the same period, but William Saliba's performances at Marseille suggest Arteta would be wise not to disregard him. Playing alongside Coletacar in the middle of San Paoli's 4-3-3 formation, the 20-year-old St Etienne Academy grad has looked excellent. He's played the full 90 in all but one game and completed 94% of his tackles, 16% more than Ruben Diaz. Plus, he leads his side for interceptions and clearances, but it's with the ball at his feet that he truly stands out. Only Kim Pembe can top his 78 passes per game in France, whilst only six players in Europe can better his 94% pass accuracy. Factor in that he's carried the ball over 2,200 metres this season, sixth in Europe, and it's clear that Saliba is loving life on the south coast. With Suarez and Chambers expected to leave the club, we believe it would be worth Edu and Arteta bringing Saliba back permanently next summer especially given he can also cover it right back. Until then, a place in the Liga and Team of the Year beckons. 4. Falon Mendy When people look back on this La Liga season, two players will immediately spring to mind, Vinicius Jr. and Karim Benzema, who at the time of writing have contributed a combined 35 goals and assists in the Spanish top flight accounting for 64% of Real Madrid's total output. But while their defence hasn't always been watertight this term, the return of Felon Mendy at left-back has been hugely important to the club's title push. Before he came back into the side at the end of October, Real looked weak on the left flank, with Nacho and Miguel Gutierrez having to fill in. At that point, Real ranked 10th in the league for goals conceded. Since his return, no side has conceded fewer, with Real letting in 0.6 goals a game, down from 1.3 in the early months of the campaign. Mendy's pace and defensive solidity have brought balance to the Madrid back line, allowing David Alaba to progress up the field more often without worry of leaving gaps behind him making the side less vulnerable to counter-attacks and a more cohesive threat going forward. And he's important in the build-up too, often being the man to feed Vinicius the ball, while only the Brazilian and Fede Valverde average more carries into the final third than him among the side's regulars. It's proving to be another stellar campaign for the former Lyon man. 3. David Raum but while Felon Mendy is well regarded as one of the best fullbacks in Europe, a young left back yet to garner the attention he deserves, at least outside Germany, is David Raum, who joined Hoffenheim last season after helping Greuther Firth achieve promotion to the Bundesliga last term with 13 assists in the second tier. The 23 year old is impressed massively in his first season of top flight football, registering two goals and five assists in 18 appearances at the time of writing. While only Trent Alexander Arnold and Philip Kostic are creating more than his 2.8 chances per 90 minutes among fullbacks and wingbacks in Europe's top five leagues. His superb delivery, excellent passing, and ability to link up in the half spaces make him a player that top clubs across Europe should be monitoring. Last year was a busy one for Raum. As well as his exploits at club level, the left-back was practically ever-present in Germany's triumph at the under-21 Euros, and also represented his country at the Tokyo Olympics before receiving his first caps from Hansi Flick in the autumn. With any luck, he'll be a household name by the end of 2022. 2. Cody Gakpo Another player who made his international debut in 2021 was Cody Gakpo. The PSV winger, who was linked with Bayern Munich last summer, was called up to the Euro 2020 squad by former Netherlands boss Frank de Boer, and has remained in the setup under Louis van Gaal. But while he's made a promising start to life with the Oranje, it's been at club level that he's impressed the most. Having registered seven goals and three assists in just under 1,700 Eredivisie minutes last term, the 22-year-old has already contributed to 16 so far this campaign, averaging a goal or assist every 65 minutes. And when you look at his underlying numbers, it's no surprise. 
His shots have risen from 2.4 to a mean 4, while he's now creating 3.5 chances a game, up from 1.6 last season. The skillful forward is also completing more dribbles than at any point in his young career. Impressive given he's had to manage an ankle injury that kept him out for over a month this season. With PSV marginally ahead of a truly brilliant Ajax side in the title race at the time of recording, it's essential Gakpo keeps up his current form if they're to get their hands on their first league crown in four years. 1. Bruno Gimaraes It may seem weird to call a player currently linked with Arsenal and Juventus underrated, but given just how badly on have been this season, the performances of Bruno Gimaraes have been truly outstanding. Capable of playing as both a deep-lying playmaker and a box-to-box -box midfielder, the Brazil international has become the French outfit's prime distributor this term, with only Ander Herrera and Marco Verratti beating his 8.2 passes into the final third per 90 in Ligue 1. Not to mention only Neymar, Renato Sanchez and Lionel Messi average more than his 7.5 progressive passes. He's also remained press resistant in a side which has otherwise been sloppy defensively, completing two dribbles a game with a 77% success rate, creating even more chances than playmakers Hussein Awa and Lucas Paqueta. With all eyes on Eduardo Camavinga last summer, clubs like Manchester United and Bayern Munich would have done well to look at Gimaraes instead. Whoever eventually lands him will have one of Europe's most exciting central midfielders on their hands. So team, that was 10 players having underrated seasons, but who have we forgot? Let me know in the comments below and we might just do a part two. Like this video, subscribe to EuroFootball Daily with notifications on and we'll catch you next time.